<laughs> okay so sorry what we discussed yesterday is when blood is uh, going to capillaries means blood is getting pumped and it is traveling uh, throughout the body so it is going from the cap from the blood vessels and some of the plasma get the uh, some of the plasma left there only in the interstitial space sorry you get the concept of interstitial fluid interstitial space the terminal of the interstitial intercellular you get this terminology yes ma'am between the two so, tissue what the fluids are there that is called interstitial tissue interstitial space and in between um, among the those interstitial space in those interstitial space interstitial fluid is present so those interstitial fluids are the extraction of blood plasma only now when these interstitial fluids are getting channelized into lymphatic vessels a lymphatic duct then they are termed as lymph and lymph is colorless right okay so uh, today we will start a productive system mm. Okay. Skin is visible, right? Hello. No, madam. No. No, madam. Ah, uh, now now it is visible. No? It's visible now. Okay. Okay. So, uh, what is reproduction? Reproduction is a process by which our genetic material is passed on from one generation to the next generation. Okay. So, reproduction is a process. through which we can continue our generation otherwise if the process of reproduction do not exist then continuation of generation will not happen so this maintain continuation of the species involves passing of genetic material from parent cells to daughter cells so um in cellular cell cellular uh, organisms if you know that they divide into two cells at first uh, one cell divide into two cell then those two cells divide into four cells then those four cells divide into eight cells 8 to 16 16 to uh, 32 32 to 34 like this they they multiply into uh, thousands millions and billions of cells right so this is the process of reproduction so uh, in which passing of genetic material from parent cells to daughter cells happens 
means uh, that one cell was parent cell but when it get divided into two cells those two cells are daughter cells okay now this process requires the sperm from the male and the egg from the female now here we are talking about human reproduction when we are talking about human reproduction this process requires the sperm from the male and the egg from the female so um, the male gamete is known as sperm or the male cell for reproduction the male, male cell which is required for reproduction or the male part of body which is required for reproduction is gamete or a reproductive cell that is known as sperm and the female produces egg okay so when male sperm and female egg they meet together the fertilization takes place the fertilization is the process of union of male sperm and female ovum now this uh, egg egg is also known as ovum so this female egg is also known as ovum uh, so when these ovum or egg meet with sperm they form zygote okay now this is the only one where uh, these uh, two cells are meeting and forming one one combined cell that is zygote zygote is a single cell then zygote multiplies with millions and billions and trillions of cells and form a human being okay so when this egg and sperm is meeting they are forming a zygote when fertilization occurs the zygote will process 46 chromosomes and ovum carrying 33 cro sorry 23 chromosomes and sperm carrying 23 chromosomes so when they are meeting they will process 46 chromosomes okay so next is we will start from male reproductive system the male reproductive system consists of testis a series of ducts and accessory glands okay so testis is the primary sex organ for male reproductive system so what is the primary sex organ termed as in anatomy gonad mm please repeat hello hello anyone else gonad yes ma'am yes ma'am gonads yes gonad very good i don't know you are honest or not but at least you give the answer so primary sex organs in male or female are known as gonads so in male testis are the primary sex organs so testis are the gonads sperms are produced in testis and are transported to the reproductive ducts those are epididymis Uh, different duct ejaculatory duct and urethra respectively it will be vas difference after epididymis it will be vas difference so when sperm is getting produced in testes they are transported through epididymis vas difference then ejaculatory duct and urethra respectively the accessory glands produce secretions that become part of semen the fluid that is ejaculated from urethra 
Okay, so what is semen? Semen is the fluid that is ejaculated from urethra. Okay, so um, in male reproductive system, the only pathway is urethra through which sperms and urine both come out. Okay, but it's not same in case of female. It is only in case of male through which urethra is the only pathway through which sperms and urine both come out. But it is not possible to come out both the things at one time. When sperm will come out, then urine cannot come, with, come out. That is the beauty of a human body created by God. That when sperm will come out of uh, urethra, the pathway for urination is blocked. Okay. So, uh, we were talking about semen. The semen is the fluid which is ejaculated from urethra. And these glands are seminal vesicles, prostate gland and bulborethral glands. Okay. So, these are the glands which are supporting a reproductive system in male body. Okay. What are those? Seminal vesicles, prostate gland and bulbourethral gland. Now, this is the picture of male reproductive system. You can see here. This is the scrotum. And uh, you can see in the scrotum, it is level uh, highly coiled, highly coiled vesicles are present. Now, uh, sperm is produced in these uh, highly coiled vesicles in scrotum. Now, this uh, scrotum is producing sperm and you can see here epididymis well leveled. Epididymis is present. Uh, the scrotum is coming to epididymis. Then epididymis is continued by a duct that is different duct uh, leveled uh, leveled here as different duct in spermatic cord or it is also known as vas difference v a v a s vas difference okay so um, this vas difference is then going to uh, you can see it is well arrowed here now, this vast difference is going to here in seminal vesicles. It is coming here to seminal vesicles. Now, uh, after joining to seminal vesicles, it, it is coming to ejaculatory duct. And the secretions of prostate gland are also getting uh, joined here. And... Uh, you can see this is prostate gland, well leveled here. Sorry, this is orange colored uh, gland here. This is this one is prostate gland, and this larger one is urinary bladder. Okay, so uh, these vast difference or carrying the sperm from scrotum and joining to seminal vesicle and uh, continuing to ejaculatory duct and uh, secretions of uh, prostate gland is also getting mixed here and they are finally coming to urethra. Okay. Is the mechanism clear? And is the picture clear? Yes, ma'am. Clear. Okay. Now, what are the organs uh, required for male reproduction? What are the Mm, organs consisting male reproductive system. So, first of all, the primary sex organ that is 
scrotum present under present inside the testis so first of all scrotum then penis then testis epididym is different duct or vas different ejaculatory duct seminal vesicles prostate gland and bulbourethral glands and finally urethra so these are the organs of male reproductive system okay here you can see and identify what are the glands scrotum testis penis epididymis vas deferens seminal vesicles prostate gland and uh, these urethra okay now excuse me yes ma'am uh, uh, what you are telling another word for can you show that slide this one slide no no previous slide yes okay. is yes, this one? different dog yes yes that are uh, different dog in spermatic cord you are telling another word oh, what what is that another word there is vas difference v a s vas difference okay vas difference okay so uh, now scrotum we will learn detail about scrotum scrotum is the loose pouch like sac in the uh, sac of skin that covered to the testicle between upper thighs okay so this is the uh, structure and location scrotum is loose pouch like sac of skin that covered to testis between upper thighs scrotum hangs behind uh, behind and below the penis so it is located below the penis the scrotum controls temperature for the testis the temperature within scrotum is about 96 degree fahrenheit slightly lower than body temperature which is necessary for production of viable sperm okay so uh, these scrotum are located outside the body this is the reason why they are located outside the body because they need slightly lower temperature than body temperature to produce healthy sperm so for producing healthy sperm scrotum need a bit lower temperature than body temperature that is why they are located outside the body okay and what is the temperature approximately 96 degrees fahrenheit no penis the penis delivers sperm into the vagina a female reproductive tract now what is vagina vagina is the female reproductive tract so penis is carrying the urethra okay this this organ is known as penis and here you can see scrotum is behind the penis so penis is carrying the urethra now uh yes penis is carrying the sperm and sperm to female reproductive tract that is vagina and penis is cylindrical in shape and consist of head or gland penis means it is consisting uh, means uh, it is divided into uh, some parts so the outermost part is known as head of penis and or gland penis okay consist of head or gland 
and one body and root okay so the portion where it is attached with body that portion will obviously known as root and the middle portion is body and the last hanging portion is head the gland penis is covered with loose skin called prepuce or foreskin okay so gland penis means the head region is covered with loose skin called prepuce or foreskin internally it is composed of three cylindrical masses of spongy tissue containing blood blood sinuses so it is highly sensitive and uh, it is um, containing a lot of blood uh, circulation means uh, circulation is much more in penis so it is containing blood sinuses blood flow is minimal soft okay so when the blood flow in the um, penis is minimal that time it is loose and soft now can you remember sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system we have read that when parasympathetic nervous system uh, the blood flow will be less so at that time penis will be loose and soft when sympathetic nervous system is active blood flow throughout the body is high at that time penis will may come erect or it may come hard and stiff so sexual stimulation triggers the dilation of blood arteries in penis okay so when sexual stimulation is uh, body is getting sexual stimulation uh, then dilation of blood arteries in penis is taking taking place okay so when the arteries are getting dilated there is more blood flow and uh, the blood sinus is fill with blood and the penis become erect and large tough and firm the erect penis is capable of penetrating the female vagina to deliver sperm and semen during sexual intercourse okay so when the penis is erect it is enlarged stuck and formed then the penis is capable of penetrating the female vagina why to penetrate female vagina to deliver the healthy sperm okay so uh, uh, when the sympathetic nervous system is uh, arising during sexual stimulation at that time the blood sinuses are getting filled with blood and the penis is getting erect in large and stuff and firm then that penis is capable of penetrating the female vagina to deliver sperm during sexual intercourse okay so uh, today's class is till this only i have to go early today so i'm sorry so we will continue okay any question any question regarding this is enough ma'am that blood sinus where it is located blood sinus it is located inside the penis okay ma'am okay the penis is made up of a lot of blood sinuses it is sinus Sinus means cavity. Cavity. Okay. 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 So when circulation is higher during sympathetic nervous system, means uh, penis is made up of so much of blood capillaries. You can say so highly um, blood reaching capillaries are there, and uh, when the sympathetic nervous system is getting uh, triggered. when there is a sexual stimulation at that time venus is getting a lot of blood flow in it and it is getting erect okay
Ma'am, please send slides that yesterday lymphatic system slides and today's slides also. Uh, okay, I will send. I'm going a bit busy nowadays. I will I will send. Don't worry. Or you can go to the slides here, where from where I have taken. So these are not my own slides. Okay, so you can uh, uh, study. Yes. From where we can get get these slides? Slideshare.com in Google. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Okay, thank you. So uh, let's bind up the class with prayer. Close your eyes, set up Namaskar Mudra, inhale deep and long, and start the prayer. Sarve Bhavan Sukhinaha. Sarve Santo Niramaya Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu Ma Kaschit Tukha Bhagbhavet Om Shanti 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 Now rub your palms, put those palms on your facial muscles, feel the warmth. Feel the energy and open your eyes with a smile on your face. Thank you. Thank you, madam.